You hear me? All right. All right, peace. Yeah, I just seen this nest. Um, you can hang up. I seen this nest during me and Kane walk. And see a little bird. Thought it was one, but it's two and three. Here's the inside of the nest. Damn. Oh, then one right here. Okay, slow up. Yeah, I'm out today. It's a nice day. Supposed to be 71 today where I'm at. <laughs> so we out enjoying the day. What are you doing with your day? You know, I'm walking. And when I walk, I get to think. Slow. And some of my thoughts today are... Well, one of my thoughts... I have an 86 um, Monte Carlo. I had for about 12, let me see. Had it for about like 12 years. And it's been sitting in the garage, you know, for probably like nine, 10 years. I drove it maybe one to two summers here and there. You know, the car came from Tennessee. It came from, from what I know, it was a gentleman, an older guy who owned it, who was from Tennessee and came in my area. And at the time he was around approximately like 70, 71. You know, I bought it from him in 2012. So, yeah, it's been about 10, 11 years. I bought it in 10, 2012 in um, April. And, you know, the underbody is real good. But, you know, I found out about the gentleman who I got it from. Happened to look him up. Because I wanted to see how many owners it had. Because, you know, it was a nice... The body was nice, under the bottom was nice. So I just was wanted to see how many people owned it. And from what I could tell, I may be like the third owner. So my thing is, do I want to get it painted? I was gonna get it painted, put some fresh paint on it because the value of those cars went up. You know, I bought the car, preferably be around 6000 back then. And I got an offer for 25000 to buy it, as is. But what I'm thinking about doing is painting it. And what I am, and I'm thinking about going today. I got two estimates for a paint job. You know, one was 15000 and one was 6000 and both gentlemen do great job, so I just had to do my research and figure what I'm gonna do. So it's hard for me to make that move to do that. It's hard for me to do, slow up boy, to make that move because I wanna determine, do it make sense for me to do it now with the climate we're in, but how I justify it, doing it is that it's an investment to me. I already doubled my money, tripled my, slow up. I already doubled or tripled my money, but I plan on like keeping it and you know, passing it down to my kids or my grandkids. So, you know, I figure if I paint it and take care of it, and I plan on putting like, the reproduction wheels that came on there back in the day, the GT, the e, uh, Goodyear GT tires on it. So, but I was just in a dilemma. Uh, should I do it now in this climate? 
you know, since it's, I can look at it from a investment, investment standpoint, and I also get to enjoy it a little bit in the summer. He said it'll take about two years. I'm gonna try to throw a picture up for you guys of how it looks. So, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. You know, should I go for it? For an investment um, point of view? Or should I hold off and wait till the environment is better? Slow down. And I know it's relative to like how much my income is. And I do okay, so, you know, I try not to make decisions that will hinder what I'm trying to do. And I always stay focused on the goal I have in. Come on, over here. He smell a, um, it was just a groundhog right there. So, you know, I want to get in the way of my goal. So I'm justified for me is I want to get it. I want to get it to be able to, to be able to, enhance the value as time goes if the paint job nice and i try to keep the inside original so like that but uh, you know i'll try to throw a picture up for you guys right in the right or left side so yeah i'm about to let kane but yeah i really want to know you know what y'all think about that i'm about to let kane try to find the ball Okay. So he's searching for the ball as usual. Let's see if he finds one a day. It might not be. All right, here go to inside. It's pretty clean. Doors. Here's the back seat. Two tops. One more go around. Is she worth getting painted? Y'all let me know. You want a day, or it could be because it was hot and people were, you know. Hold on, he, he moved that tail like he see something. Oh, he found one. I could tell just from his body language. Okay, you get to play ball. Come here. Yes, he found one. Well, guess what you get to do, boy? Out. Watch how he follow. Oh, that's a bust up ball. I hate these balls, but it's better than nothing. He's like, come on, come on, throw the ball. Slobbing. No.
Come here. Yeah, so like I was saying, you guys, let me know what y'all think about getting the car painted. Uh, and like I said, both guys do a great job. So do I pay the 6000 or 15000 Well, it's going to be closer to seven and some change because there's other things I'm going to need, you know. <laughs> and I'm going to show you all a picture of the car and let me know what uh, color that you suggest that I get it. I was going to get it back the same color and get the stripes on there to keep it close to original. Um, how it was back in 86. So, Kane's getting out. Uh. I gotta uh, get confirmation from my business partner. Out. Uh, okay, come here. In your opinion, should I get the um, car painted or not? Okay, as long as he don't mess with his food money, he ain't, he don't care. As long as he can eat. Throw it one more time, you guys. Just to, I just want him to, you know, we still got some walking to do. Come here. Sit. Sit. <laughs> 